Managing the consequences of a chemical agent release may require mass decontamination that is outside the resources of any medical facility. Chemical weapons, by their very nature, can cause large numbers of casualties if dispersed in a vapor or aerosol. Such a situation could occur during a high-profile event, at an airport, a concert, or a stadium. The simplest solution is to cordon off several exits where a decontamination corridor can be set up with fire department aerials and or deluge guns. The nozzles are set at low pressure and high volume so as not to inflict damage but which maximize the amount of water each victim is exposed to. Responders staffing such sites should wear appropriate PPE to limit their exposure to aerosols. Another method is to set up a sprinkler head near the exit point as a rudimentary decon shower. In this scenario, water delivered at 500 gallons a minute will produce 8 gallons per second. If the victim remains in the shower for 3 seconds on average, and assuming the person is exposed to 50% of the water, this equals 12 gallons, the amount used in a normal shower. In both scenarios, some clothing may be left on which reduces the effectiveness if vapor has penetrated to the skin. Water temperature is a comfort issue that can affect the time spent showering. Normal fire hydrant water temperature is 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a particular issue with children and the elderly who may suffer additional cold-related complications, especially if the ambient air temperature is much cooler or it's windy and cloudy and the outside decon process is more traumatic than in an enclosed environment.